To make any kind of website, you need to get a domain name and a web hosting, which is a standard for every website. Now, what is a domain name? A domain name is simply the address of your website. For instance, your business name.com, google.com, or facebook.com. Mine is decoupages.com. So if users want to find my website, all what they need to do is enter my domain name in their web browsers. So if you also want your website to be found on the internet, you need to get a domain name. After getting your domain name, the next thing you need to get is a web hosting. A web hosting is a server where all the resources of our website will be stored so that users of our website will have access to them wherever they are. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Now to get your very own custom domain name and web hosting, go over to your browser and enter dikupages.com slash asura. Hit enter. And this brings me to Asura Hosting. With Asura Hosting, you get affordable web hosting services where you'll be provided with 99.9% .9 of time, NVMe SSD storage, free SSL certificate, and many more. So from here, I click on web hosting. Going down, these are the various packages you get with Asura Hosting. And choosing any of these plans will depend upon the kind of website you want to create. If you are just starting out, you can go ahead and use the starter plan and you can always upgrade later on. So for this website, I'm going to go ahead and use the starter plan. So I scroll down and click on order now. Under choose a domain, you can register a new domain or transfer your domain from another registrar. That is, if you already have a domain registered somewhere, you can transfer it to Asura Hosting or you can use your existing domain and update your name service. For now, I'm going to go ahead and register a new domain. So I select register a new domain. Under search domain, I search for the domain I want to register. Take note, this domain name you are going to register now should be unique to you. If a particular domain is already registered, you cannot register it for the second time. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I enter Diku pages, which is my website, and I will leave the extension as .com and I click on check. You see that decoupages.com is unavailable simply because this particular domain is already registered. So you need to choose a custom domain name for your business. So what I do is I get rid of this and I go ahead and enter the domain I want to register. Decoupages web. Next is domain extension. I draw down the arrow and choose from this list any domain extension I want to use. I will recommend you use .com if you are creating a business website. So I choose .com and I go ahead and click on check. All right, decoupageswebcom is available and I can register it for $9.99. I click on continue. In here are the various features I'll get under the starter plan, which is $12 per year. Going down, I can choose a billing cycle. At the moment, annually is selected. I can choose two years or three years. If you choose two or three years, you save 16%, but I want to use annually for now. Going down, I don't want to use any of these services. I click on continue. With Asura hosting, you get free DNS management. So I select it. I'm not going to choose IP protection. However, if you want to protect your ID, you can go ahead and choose this so that you pay $3.99 per year. I don't want to make extra payment. I'll also choose free email forwarding and I go ahead and click on continue. So now the starter plan is $12 per year and the domain registration is $9.99 per year, which gives a total of $21.99 per year. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Going down, you can go ahead and choose the currency you want to use. I'll leave it as USD. If you have a promo code, you can enter it in here. Don't have any. If you already have an account with Asura Hosting, you can use existing customer login. At the moment, I don't have, so I select create a new account. And in here, I go ahead and enter my personal information, billing address, and then my password. Going down to payment method, in here, you can go ahead and choose the particular payment method you want to use. You can either pay with PayPal, 
direct credit or debit card or bitcoin for this i'm going to go ahead and use direct credit or debit card and in here i enter my card number expiry date and then cvv number so i'll go ahead and enter all these details and click on checkout and meet you on the next page all right i've made the payment and it has redirected me to my client area and this is the domain we've just registered the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and check my email since asura hosting will be sending me my login details to my email now asura hosting will be sending you a bunch of messages and you should be looking for asura hosting dash hosting account information this is the email where you'll find the login details to your cpanel account so going down to control panel login information i have my account username account password and then server login url so all what i need to do is go ahead and open this in a new tab so i highlight it right click open link in a new tab next i copy the username then i go ahead and paste it in here i go back then i grab the password then i go ahead and paste it in here then i click on sign in and this brings us to our direct admin c panel and that's it on how you can get a domain name and a web hosting from asura hosting all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and I will see you in the next one.